families. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. My name is E.R. Bain and I am a black woman, white man, paranormal romance writer of the series called Surreal Blue Rogue Asian Series. And my latest book in that series is called Soundstage. How many of you have read Love's Wicked and just have fallen in love with Enrique and his abilities? All of you that love Superman and Captain America. <laughs> yes. How about Deadpool? <laughs> Considering that I was dealing with Something as uh, hmm, as tricky as the drug trade. I decided I needed a character with a maximum effect. And I knew that, well, I'm familiar with comics, as you could probably tell. Hmm. I didn't want to do the same old, same old like Luke Cage and Superman and Captain America. Who could take a hit and keep doing that all day. I wanted someone who was absolutely effective against the cartel. And seeing that my story is a mixture of mythology, religion, and superhero tropes. And uh, being familiar with the stories of drug cartels and how they operate with mass killings, killing someone, I knew that I needed a character that could withstand being killed. I used to watch Ebert and Rupert at the movies religiously, and I will never forget their review of the movie Kingpin. Starring Woody Harrelson and <laughs> just found it so funny when his, when Woody Harrelson, um, rolled the bowling ball and his prosthetic hand came off <laughs> and rolled down the lane. Ebert and Roper praised the Ferrelli brothers for going the extra mile to gain laughs. Um, with a character that was uh, funny and smart at the same time. And so I just... And so it clicked in my head. I got the name Enrique from Enrique Iglesias. And I always appreciated... Well, I don't see it a lot, but... Defensive attacks or attacks that come out of a defense... They will be attacked by the defense of the character. And since I was dealing with the drug trade where countless lives are lost through random attacks all the time by gangbangers and killers, that I, once I knew I needed something ultimate, and uh, that's what I figured that was the best option for Enrique. That is when I figured what was the best ultimate defense for Enrique. He has a weakness. I haven't revealed it yet. It will be lame if he didn't have a weakness. But... Um... I'm always trying to do something different with my characters and that is how I came up with Enrique. And at the end of the day, it's my, the influences of the comics that I, I've read over the years and art, I, artists I paint. I think too that that, that, that sort of influenced me to come up with Enrique. So tell me if you like Enrique. I hope you like the story. Thank you for reading and listening to my 
Commentary. 